Hello my friends, my name is LazyJet and welcome back to Train Simulator Classic. Now in today's video, we're going to have a race with different train companies. For example, we've got Duchess of Hamilton representing the company LMS. And we've got Dominion of Canada representing LNER. And we've got a King class, King George V representing GWR. And we've got a classic Black Five representing British Railway or BR. And finally, we've got something that kind of hits home to me because I'm a southern boy because I was born in the south of the UK. Uh, we've got a West Country class in a nice southern green livery. Ooh, very nice, Mr. Oliver. So Southern, BR, GWR, LNER and LMS are all going to go head to head. So the fact that, like, you know, you see all these different trains from different companies, like they have their own sort of style of trains. So we've met the trains. Let's start playing Train Simulator and programming these engines to do about 125% power. Right, let's play Train Sim. So, first things first, obviously, uh, I think you guys have got the drill by now, is engine one on platform one and have you at 125% power. Yep, that's programmed well. Engine two on platform two uh, on 125% power. I mean, if you guys want to skip this part of the video, you go right ahead. But I'm just uh, doing this on camera to make sure there's no cheating involved. Because, like, you know, we, 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 we don't want any cheating, no. So, engine 4 on platform 4 with 125% power. Engine 5 on platform 5. We only have 5 engines to race today. That's that is interesting. So, I'll have you at 125% power. Bosh, all engines are programmed. And we are ready for racing. In fact, I'm going to have the Super Plus 47 on this track today. Because um, we only have 5 engines and not 6. So, uh, let's click play and let's start racing! And they're off. A very slow start, as always, because they are pulling coaches. But let's get our Superclass 47 ready. And who is going to be taking the lead? Let's have a look. Uh, so far, I think uh, the winner is the Great Western Railway uh, by uh, King George V, the King Class. Uh, it, is quite, um, it is quite close between uh, Dominion of Canada and Duchess of Hamilton. I nearly said Mallard then. Uh, so let's uh, release our brakes, put the train in forward, and let's get moving. Oh, the, the, the sound's gone. It, it does do that. Uh, we do have a train simulator audio issue. Uh, but so far, the uh, King class is in the lead. Uh, Dominion of Canada and uh, Duchess of Hamilton are, well, Duchess of Hamilton has got a slight lead at the moment. Uh, how is uh, the Black Five doing? The Black Five is in last place. How is the uh, West Country class doing? Looking good. Oh, I do love the West Country class. And I don't know why, but I just I just love the design of the wheels in oh, a, a great, uh, not great, uh, West Country class. I mean, like, if we go to the Black Five, if we look at that, her wheels, I mean, her wheels have got like, oh, if I can get like a good shot. Uh, bear with me, I could do this. Um, they've got like little lines in the patterns of the wheels, but then if we go to the West Country... They've got like little holes in them, and I, I, I love, I love that design in um, in the West Country class's wheels. I think, I, th I think it's wonderful and beautiful, and I just love that design so much. So in the lead, we have the King class. In second place, I think is Duchess of Hamilton. Third place is Dominion of Canada. Fourth place is the West Country class, and in last place, which is fifth, is the Black Five. But the results could change. They could, re they could change. At the very end, but we 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 don't know. We we do, we don't know everyone. That's that's uh, that's a mystery to be solved here. Who is gonna win? Ooh, we don't know. I mean, theoretically, Ma uh, not Mallard. I keep saying Mallard. Uh, Dominion of Canada should win because it's a class A4. But just because it's a class A4 doesn't necessarily mean it's the fastest. Because you have to remember they're pulling coaches as well, so it's adding a bit of weight to them. So just because they're the fastest doesn't necessarily mean they're the strongest. So. It's a very clever race, this, because it tests in strength, speed, and power. So, it's a very clever race, this one. So, by the looks of things, I think uh, 
Duchess of Hamilton has got a better lead than Dominion of Canada, who is in the very lead at the moment. I believe it's the uh, it's, it's the King class. <laughs> the level crossing sounded so weird for a moment. But let's uh, let's see if we can link speed, see how fast she's doing. Uh, let's uh, slow it down. Oh, it's, oh, it's making a weird noise. <laughs> what? What is that noise? What is that noise? That is like... That's not a chuffing sound, that's a, that's a clinking, clunking sound. If I speed up just a little bit more... I mean, listen to that. I've done a lot of weird things on Train Simulator, but... This is... This is one of them. That is a really weird sound for a... For a King Class. So anyway, the King Class is in the lead at the moment, so we'll leave, uh, we'll leave her to... Well, win, I suppose. But let's go backwards and have a look at the other train. See how they're doing. So, uh, apply my brakes now. There we go. God, these brakes are so good. So, Dutch of Hamilton uh, is in second place. Uh, Dominion of Canada is in third. But I think Dominion of Canada uh, might be picking up some speed. I'm not sure. Let's have a little look. Let's link speed. No. In fact, Dominion of Canada is actually going a bit slower than Duchess of Hamilton. Hmm, interesting. So I'm going to speed up a bit more. So let's go up to about, ooh, I'd say about 200 miles per hour. Let's get up to 200. There we go. Ooh, a little bit of a bounce. It is a bit bumpy going up the hill. So let's have a look at the results. I can see Dominion of Canada is still uh, falling behind a bit. Uh, Duchess of Hamilton is doing extremely well. Good on you, Duchess of Hamilton. But the real winner so far is the uh, is the Great Western uh, Railway, uh, the King Class. So we're going to try and speed up and catch up to the King Class. That's what we need to do. That's what we definitely need to do. So how fast is the King Class doing? Let's have a look. Let's apply my brakes. Let's link speed. Oh, it's definitely doing about 124 miles per hour. Let's see if we try and... Oh no, about 123. So doing about 123 miles per hour. That for for a Great Western engine, uh, especially for a King Class, that is that is super speedy. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, right, I need to start slowing down because um, come up to the downward spiral. <laughs> it's a bit of a. It's a bit. This is the this is the part of the map where I actually like. Uh, I am in fear with. So I'll slow down to about 60. I think, I think 60 will do, about 66.6, that's uh, triple six, triple six, good. Um, I think this is fast enough, I mean, maybe could apply my brakes just a little bit, get it down to 59, nope, back to 60. I can see a train behind me, who's that? Oh, it's Duchess of Hamilton! Oh, I think Duchess of Hamilton is is catching up, oh, -hoo -hoo. this might be interesting. Oh, wow, look at the speed of Duchess of Hamilton, and there is Dominion of Canada, and she is uh, falling behind quite a bit. But Dustin Hamilton is really moving along now. She's doing, she's doing about 150. <gasps> and you can actually see in the distance, there's the Southern Train, the West Country Class, and there's the Black Five in the distance. So we need to link my speed to uh, Dutch of Hamilton because that thing's doing about 150-something. Uh, I'm doing 147. Oh, it was doing about 150, but now it's doing, I think, about 148 miles per hour. I think uh, I think that that is, that is very speedy. Look at the speed of that. That's amazing. Look at, like, a... Like an epic shot. So you've got the King Class uh, consist, and you've got the Duchess of Hamilton representing uh, LMS. And here she comes. We're about to overtake the King Class. In fact, I want to get like a, a an epic shot of like of these two like incredible steam trains. So we've got the King Class leading, and Duchess of Hamilton coming up. Oh, this is so cool. We'll get like a an epic shot. Come on, Oliver. Let me get this. Oh, <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, it, it is very quiet at first, but then like when you are by the coaches, it gets really loud. Duchess of Hamilton is in the lead now, followed by uh, the King Class, King George V. Look in the distance, uh, I think Dominion of Canada. Um, oh dear, it's not doing very well, is it? I mean, it's still like, it's still catching up, but not by my, in fact, it's not catching up at all. It's actually falling behind. In fact, if we go back, we can actually find out, oh, my head just went through the window. Well, well done, Oliver. If we actually go backwards, I want to find out how fast Dominion of Canada, Dominion of Canada is doing. Or how fast it's going, that's what I'm supposed to say. There she is, right. So if we put our train in forward, the Supercross 47 in forward, and see how fast Dominion of Canada is going. Oh, it's only doing about 115. That is definitely a lot slower than um, Duchess of Hamilton. That is that is very slow. That's actually quite, that's quite disappointing, in fact. I honestly thought the A4s would do better than the Coronation classes, but there we go. I've been wrong many times before. 
but I have to say, Dominion of Canada does look amazing, doesn't she? Especially in this lovely blue. And I love those lovely red wheels. And I love the red nameplate as well. It, it suits her very, very well. And let's try and catch up to the leaders. Because I actually have no idea where they are. Probably at the finish line by now. Oh, wait. I actually see them in the distance. Uh, God, they're just a tiny little little dot, aren't they? I mean, they, have, they, they are going at some serious speed at the fact that they're that, that far away. So here is the, uh, the king class. Bye, king class. Woo! God, that thing is... Uh, Slow down quite a bit. Uh, where is the Coronation class? Where's Dutch of uh, Hamilton? There she is in the distance. God, that thing is going incredibly fast. And to be honest, I didn't think Dutch of Hamilton, even though it's streamlined, I didn't. I, 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 I would have. Not, I would have not put my money on Dutch of Hamilton in this race. But there we go. I lost the bet. Uh, but then again, the race is not over just yet. I mean, it's the first train to stop. Remember, so we're not. We're not finished just yet. Because Duchess of Hamilton has actually slowed down quite a bit. It's doing about 100 miles per hour, just about. And it is getting even slower. And if we look in the distance, we could actually see the King class catching up. So, hmm, this, this might be a close one. This could be a, a close photo finish here. But we don't know. So, I'll apply my brakes a little bit more. Oh, that just looks so good. I just love the look of her. Of a coronation class. I mean, I'm not a massive fan on LMS trains, but I have to admit this does look pretty amazing, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Or doesn't she? She she looks amazing, lovely. So uh, I don't see any trains getting closer, but I think Dutch of Hamilton is slowing down quite a bit now. So this is the, this is the worrying thing: D the Duchess classes or the coronation classes, whatever you call them, they do slow down quite early before the end of the line so this could be her her fault here it could be her massive failing but we don't know i mean let's have a look i mean i don't see any trains in the distance yet oh wait no, no i see one i see one it's uh it's the king class oh and i see the uh the finish line in the distance oh this is gonna be a uh, a close finish i mean i can see the uh the king class and she is catching up <laughs> Oh, who's going to stop first, my friends? Who is going to stop first? We, uh, well, let's find out. <laughs> let's find out. So we're going to leave the Superclass 47 here. Goodbye, Superclass 47. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, the King Class is catching up really fast. Come on, Duchess of Hamilton. You're nearly at the finish line. Come on. It's the first train to stop. This is so close. And I can see a third train in the distance, and it is Dominion of Canada. Interesting. So, who is going to stop first? Oh my god, this is so close. This is so close! Um, who's going to stop first? <laughs> I've never seen a race ending this close in a while! Who is going to stop first? Is that Team LMS or Team GWR? And I think... Oh, it was close, but I think Team LMS stopped just by a millisecond or something. But that was so close. I mean, I think... It was such a close finish, but I think Team LMS has has won it. So uh, there you go, fastest uh, steam train in Britain. If you want to travel on um, on a steam train and, and it's the fastest, go with LMS. And here comes Dominion of Canada in third place. Now I have to be honest, I am a bit disappointed because I thought I honestly thought the A4s would win this, but there you go. I guessed. Um, a4s are not the fastest. Well, they are, but when they're pulling coaches, they are a bit. They're a lot slower when when they're pulling coaches, obviously. But when 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 they have no coaches, the A4s are just super fast. But that's not the case. The case is who is the strongest and the fastest. And in this case, Team LMS is the winner. But the race isn't over yet because we've got two more trains approaching, and in fourth place, which. I am a bit sad about because, like you know, this this does hit home. Is the West Country class for Team Southern Railway? Ah, oh, that is a bit of a shame. But they're, but they're, never mind. I mean, Team Southern it isn't last, but it certainly isn't first. But there you go. So there you are, Team Southern. Park it, park it. Sorry, park it. Sort of next to the Great Western, but Team uh, British Railway, which is by the Black Five, um, is uh. Is, oh, I'm getting like massive lag right now. Um, oh, and the sound's gone. 
the, the, the sound is slightly broken for Train Simulator, but never mind. But anyway, uh, West Country Class, park here next to the uh, to uh, the uh, the King Class. Very good, beautiful. I do love Southern. I love Southern Railways. Oh, I love everything about Southern, and I love everything about Great Western. I just love anything that's train related, basically. And in last place, but I don't think it's least because I do love the Black Fives as well. Um, but Black Five for Team uh, British Railway. Uh, unfortunately, is in last place. That is a bit sad. But, nevertheless, uh, it's still a good-looking engine, in my opinion. Uh, so, park it in between the West Country class and Great Western. Very nice. So, if we park it just about here, I think. I think this will do quite nicely. I think so. Um, yeah, we'll zoom in just a little bit. And stop. Perfect. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous! I love that. That looks look so nice. But there we have it. Southern versus BR versus Great Western versus LNER versus LMS. LMS came out on top. Uh, but I still think they all did very well. It was still quite a close race. But which team do you guys support? Do you support Team LMS, Team LNER, Team uh, Great Western, Team BR, or Team Southern? Me, personally, I think I would support Team Southern. Because, like, you know, again, I'm a Southern boy. So I think I'm going to have to choose Team Southern. Even though it wasn't the fastest, I still I still support Team Southern. That is my team. But that concludes this video for today, my friends. Let me know what team you guys support. Leave your answer in the comment section down below. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Uh, turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified to the channel. Uh, follow me on Twitter and my Instagram. Uh, all the links are in the description below. Uh, buy some Lazy Jet merch. Link to my website is in the description below as well. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Expert at this stuff. Um oh oh there we go. <laughs> Maybe.